Welcome to Tina's Sewing Class. If you're here for the first time, please go ahead and subscribe below. Hit that notification bell so you're notified when we have new videos uploaded. And also share this video so that others can learn sewing with us as well. I'm just going to cut this. I completed this ahead of time, but I'm just going to cut it and start from scratch. So that's how you would do it, guys. You get a piece of fabric and you just make a fold like that in your fabric as if you were doing a hem line. Or something you just make a fold in your fabric like that and you can pin you can put a pin or two just to hold that um, fold right. now we're going to be working from left to right left to right don't get uh, don't make your thread too long just get your thread enough where you can handle it and your first stitch go under the fold only just the folded end pull that through and we're not going to pull all the way through because there's it's not knotted that's why if it was knotted, you could pull the thread until it hits the back of the fabric, right? Your first stitch is going to go, see where the fold meets the fabric? It's going to go right at the end of the fold, like so. And you're not going to take a lot on your needle. You can see that it's very tiny. The reason for that is because it's going to be showing on the other side, the stitches. I would suggest that always use, in practicing you can use anything, but um, any color, but when you're working on a project, you want to match your thread to your fabric. All right, so there goes. This is your second stitch. So this is your first stitch. This is your second stitch. Okay, okay. Now you're going to come to the right with your second, with your third stitch and you can go from here to here about half an inch or you can go three quarters of an inch, whichever you're most comfortable with. And he, when you get here on the left, you just pick up like that, but there's on here now, you're not picking this fabric, just the folded fabric only. And I think I get mine caught. Let me see. Hold on. You can feel when it's caught too. It's very heavy on the needle. So you want to go here. You just want to go just slightly in like that and pick up just your folded fabric only. You pull through and you start making your crisscross you go here now and you do the same thing about half an inch I'd say and you go as light in the bottom fabric as you can remember when you go down you're only picking the one layer your second fabric you're not touching on the fold come back again about half an inch all right guys so just Watch as I do that. And let me show you how I really like to work on this. I like to do it this way. I like to put it across my finger and hold it like that because I have more control of my thread and my needle.
All right, let's try that one more time. All right, guys, and if I wanted to take this out because I did not do that, um, this is what the back of it looks like. So if when you're working with um, the same color thread, you don't have a problem with <coughs> these um, bright looking thread on your on your garment, uh, I just go back like that and I just pull with my needle. So you because I did not um, not the thread in the end of it, and it's it's very easy. I should let you know it's very easy to take out when you want to remove it uh, but when it's sewn in the garment it's not that easy see it's well sewn and it, it holds so it won't come undone right this is what this portion of it looks like and it's a double stitch all the way through if you can tell and the underside looks like that and your stitch is still in place very nice very nice alrighty guys so go ahead and practice 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 thank you for watching and see you on the next lesson. Thank you. Ciao, ciao.